I think you hit on something pretty good that I feel like a lot of people don't talk about a lot in swimming, which is like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it the plateau, but it's when, you know, you're not experiencing best times every single yeah. summer. Yeah. And we all get used to it when we're in age group swimming. Like when, you know, we're 13, 14, we're dropping like 20 Ten seconds seconds two yeah. free, like all this <laughs> kind of stuff. And then you kind of get to this point where you're at, you're clearly at this elite level, you know, you're, you're competing collegiately in national championships, national championship level. Um, you're competing at nationals every, every year, international competition, world juniors. Um, you know, what, what mentality do you kind of take if you go into a summer fully loaded, you know, everything's going to go well. And then you leave, you know, a few tenths off your best, something yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean, so that's kind of what happened the last two years. Cause I knew like, obviously like being a Florida, you can't not work hard. Yeah. So I was working hard. I was hitting my paces. I was hitting times that like in practice where I was like, okay, I can, I can see myself going my goal times. Right. And so um, one of the big things for me that I worked on the summer meant was like my, my mental game, I'll say. Um, so I actually went to Greece right after NCAAs and I read a book called The Slight Edge. That was an incredible book. Um, I definitely recommend. Um, a lot of people joke about it on the team, but um, it was, it was um, I'd say life changing because I mean, not only does it help me um, in the pool, but outside of the pool as well um, in regards to like, I'm trying to learn lang two languages right now. Um, I'm taking a French class for school, um, but I mean, still, I need habits. And um, what is the premise of the book? It's um, <clears throat> it's like daily habits um, mm -hmm. that kind of daily habits that make the difference. And um, uh, I don't really remember the phrase. And that's probably I I was gonna plan on reading it like once a year. Yeah. So come after NCAA's again, I'll probably read it um, just because I want to get those reminders and the things that I pointed out um, that helped me. Um, but uh, one of the big things in that book that really resonated within me was um, there was a quote it was um, uh, the things that made you successful before will continue to make you successful and I think like in saying that like my freshman year was a big transition obviously I was moving from California to Florida and like call high school to college um, and I think like oh, I need to make such big adjustments right um, that's uh, for me that was actually incorrect uh i think that the things that made me successful in elite in high school can still make me successful in elite in college and um <clears throat> that i didn't need to change as much as i thought i did mm -hmm. so that was that was huge for me because kind of getting back to those habits getting them back like on top of not only like the physical training um and kind of what i used to do was like i i could remember 2014 and 2015 why my 2015 was so great was because every single day I knew like for if we did like a sixth grade practice I could re like recite all my stroke counts so oh, wow. like yeah. every lap um like how many kicks I know all my times and I still know some of my times from high school and the sets I did like I remember going three eight hundreds and it was negative split and the first one was 740 next one was 727 next one was 720 right mm -hmm. and just being able to throw those times that and knowing and understanding that like my mind can commit myself to doing those things and making those habits but also my mind can um uh <clears throat> like i think my mind's my greatest asset and um i was trying to turn my brain off too many times mm -hmm. just because i think that it was getting in the way but understanding that there's time to think and there is time not to think mm -hmm. and understanding that when i'm at um like say nationals this summer or come NC2As or Georgia Tech invite that I've thought about it a lot in practice. I put all the time, the effort, and like I've counted all my strokes in practice. But when I'm behind those blocks, just think about like being present, focus on my breathing and not thinking about the technical details that I can get right. So that was, that was huge for me. No, and so. that is a really cool switch of perspective, right? That I guess the book gave you just in terms of, like you said, you ha you're going through this transition period and you think you have to change all these things, right? Like you have to do things differently. But yeah. like you said, you know, you were being successful before. So yeah. Yeah. why not, you know, keep those same habits or, yeah. you know. I wonder what it is behind that. that because I think I experienced the same. I think we both, we were both roommates freshman year and like yeah. 
going into our freshman year of UF, we were just like, oh my God, we need to, you know, get in this, this extra crazy shape and we need to go for runs, all this kind of stuff. And like, yeah, some of that's true, but at the same time, you've, you've led yourself to the success to get you to UF. So, you know, Mm -hmm. it's not a, it's not like you're, you're coming into this place where you're just throwing your mind out and you're just becoming this, this new person. Yeah. I wonder what goes into that because I think everybody somewhat thinks that like I'm going to college and, Mm -hmm. and I think it's like, um, I've always like, uh, I actually spoke to, um, freshman student athletes a couple weeks ago and I told them that these four years are like the biggest growth years of your life and I'm a hundred percent in agreement with that and I think that's like what I thought I needed in order to grow um for some people that's maybe what they need a change um Mm -hmm. but um I I just figured out for myself like this year that like I didn't need to change that much for myself to grow in swimming I I could keep going and naturally my my like not only my body physically but my mind mentally would just grow normal like it would just grow Um, so yeah just on its own Mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. i really like that